With these Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hello, I'm Dr. David Klee and welcome to another Pro Minute. Today we're going to discuss hands, how to properly hold a flute. Well, in all the classes and uh, clinics I gave across the Midwest, this is probably one of the most asked questions, is how to hold a flute properly. Uh, believe it or not, you need to know what's called the three pressure points to holding a flute. We, we'll start with that. It's always right here, right under the, the first knuckle, right here. It, sits, it actually sits right on this joint here, sets on it, and then the finger is wrapped around. The second pressure point is your thumb. The third pressure point is your right hand pinky. This pushes against your face. These two push out. It's called push-pull. And if you hold it, do it right, the rest of your hand fingers are free. And this is what's important. If you don't push-pull and hold the flute with these pressure points properly, you can't have free fingers. Typically, young flute players tend to rest their right hand right against the shafts of the keys. Then they play with what I call half finger technique. The proper way to play is actually from the knuckles. It's no different than if you're playing a clarinet or a saxophone. It is no different. But the movement is from here. They really don't change shape. They just go up and down from the knuckles. That's how they have to work. So, if we look at this, basically the thumb should go approximately, approximately under the first finger. And then the other three fingers go like this. You should always play a flute with the pads of the fingers, not the tips of the fingers. Again, I typically get young flutists who want to play like this. No. You don't do that. That's not natural. It could even damage your tendons and nerves through your, uh, your sheath and your wrists, and someday you could even have carpal tunnel syndrome. You don't want that. So what you're after here is think of the pads. It's actually a much lower armature, armature a much lower hand position. And then you, you've got your foot joint adjusted, and then there you go. And all the movement is from, from here. <laughs> The left hand, again, you think of push-pull, and then the left hand fingers just wrap. And the thumb does not hold the flute. It just opens and closes. So if you think of that, everything opens and closes, just like that. So if you think of push-pull, and then open and close, You'll find yourself being oodles ahead of the competition. And a side benefit of this, when you get an open hole flute, you'll be able to play it. Because there's nothing worse than playing with tippies of the fingers, and then you get an open hole flute. There's no way to play like that. And I typically get young flute players who play like this. Or they have their hand like this. Again, it should just be right under the first finger. The fingers are like this. Left hand like this, open and close, all movement from the knuckles, thumb opens and closes, push pull from the three pressure points, and you're good. Hopefully this tip will help you. Have a great day. Thank you.